it's Cameron here from Quickshot Films and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make your videos look that much more filmic and a bit more cinematic and stuff. But I don't claim to be the be best at this, uh, I won't be able to get it completely great in this tutorial, but I can show you how I do it in most of my videos and uh, how you can achieve the same effect using Surf Movie Plus X6. Uh, Yes, basically I've just got this video, this is from an upcoming video, a little preview, sneak preview here. This is a Minecraft video, hint hint nudge nudge. And no, it's not going to be uh, a brilliant video either, but I reckon it's going to be pretty cool. I've only done one scene of it so far. And yeah, it looks really well. So I don't know when you'll be expecting that, maybe it'll be after my computer is finished. But yeah, that is coming and that is pretty cool. So anyway, uh, yeah, we are going to make this video. This little, it's quite makes it, the video looks quite cold and looks not that epic. But today we're going to be making it a little bit more epic and maybe your software a little bit more laggy as well. <laughs> So, let's get into this, uh, we'll start by clicking on this video track and t changing this lighting. So, if this is your main video track with all your videos in it, this will change all of your videos instead of just one. So, this is how I just do my first little grade, I so should make it a bit darker. I kind of just play around with these settings until we get it just right. Uh, Leave it like that, and then we're going to colour, change the temperature. Often, if you got higher, it makes it look better if you put it down, but makes it look blue and colder. I guess you could use it in some situations. If, it, if you put it right up here, it makes it orange. But anyway, grab quite a cool tint using that. Uh, and then we actually use the tint part. And we kind of choose what will fit best in our scene. So for me, I'll probably leave that at zero. Don't really need that changed. We could turn the saturation up. Let's make it look, look a bit more bright. And the vibrance, do the same thing. And yeah, that's kind of a bit of colour grading. It looks quite cool. Sometimes what I do for uh, of my Nerf gun fights and stuff. I have on my video track an effect. Uh, the effect that I was going, to, I sometimes use is grayscale. And what I do is put this on half, a bit less than half, and it kind of gives this nice little grey, old Tony kind of effect. Not so bright, not so vibrant, but it kind of makes it look. Yeah, because it's kind of more interesting than just what it was originally, which was that. Which doesn't look too bad in the shot because it's animated and the graphics are reasonably vibrant anyway, but uh, I just reckon that it makes the whole thing look a little bit better. So yeah, makes it look a little more natural, like they're meant to be in the environment. Anyway. Once you've got that, sometimes I like to add a little blur around the edges, around here, that kind of makes it look like it's intense and focusing a bit more on the centre, makes it look a bit tilts shifted as well. Uh, how I do that is by creating this, turning this into, well, creating another video track, minimising both of those, and copying the whole video, so I have to copy it whole video up to the top. I click on, oh let's see, I have to, since I've already colour graded the track, I need to copy this, the whole track and put it up there because now this will be colour graded as well. Anyway, once you've got your video duplicated up into the top layer, uh, add them into a video group, these two tracks, top two tracks. Let's see. 
You can see why I'm getting a new computer because this computer is just way too laggy to do these tutorials. But anyway, we've got to handle with this, last with this until we get our RAM and the operating system for my computer and then it'll be up and running. But at the moment, this is what we've got, so. It's all good. And I apologise for that lag. But, uh, yeah, so we've got these two tracks in the group. Click on the top track and turn it into a mask. Now, nothing has really changed, but what you need to do is go into this media tab, library, samples, quick shapes, which I do a lot of my videos, and drag in that circle. Add an effect, Gaussian blur, and turn that blur right up, because it needs to be a lot blurred. Okay, and once you've got that, uh, add an effect to this track, this video track down here. Add effect, Gaussian blur, and set that blur to, yeah, about there. But what I forgot to do is in this top track, turn this to unmask instead of mask. And now it's kind of blurring around the edges. It's a bit too far off to the side though, so if we click on the top one, transform it, and pull out the edges a bit. So about using the scroll wheel, by the way. Now if we zoom in, it's kind of a cool little focused effect that you can put on your videos. The bigger the blur, the more like miniature your things look. That's because tilt shift just makes stuff look a bit more miniature. But anyway. That's the way I do the little blur around the edges of some of my videos. The only problem with this is there's a little light part around the edge here. But it's hardly noticeable and if you want to get rid of that, you just put all of your videos into a video group. I never do this because it's just, it just makes the video a bit bigger. You click on the video, transform it. Video track and transform it, video and transform it, and it will get rid of those edges. So, yeah. Now, it is a pretty sexy video of a pig swinging its head side to side and a chicken rolling across the track. So, also look out for this video coming up. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, Look forward to another tutorial coming out soon. Uh, once I get my computer, I'll be doing a few more tutorials. I have a lot of requests. I just can't because this computer's a bit too laggy to do some of them. So I'll get there once I get the new computer. But for now, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to rate and leave a comment and stuff. And subscribe to see some more tutorials later when I get an awesome computer that me and my dad are building. So make sure to subscribe for that. I'll be doing an update soon on uh, what, how it actually is and I'll show you, show you around the computer. But for now this is what we have so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to see how you do your cinematic videos so if you leave maybe a photo of your timeline or like maybe your own little video of a setup of your videos and the video responses that'd be quite cool to see and yeah so see you later hope you enjoyed and bye